Trans fat per serving. Hi, everyone. We are back on daytime. Thanks for being with us. And we want to keep our daytime viewers' hearts to stay healthy, beating long and strong. That's why we brought Shoeless here today. Now, they've teamed up with Dr. Janet Brill, author of Cholesterol Down, to give people the best foods possible to keep their hearts healthy. Thanks for being here, guys. Pleasure Thanks for here, having us. I've got Chef John. I've got Dr. Brill. Now, Chef John, you can start I'm going to do my thing, and, and you guys thing. do all your girl we'll talk. Get you know? to you and <laughs> girl talk, yeah. Heart healthy talk. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Dr. Brill, you're going to tell us some of the foods that will really be good for our hearts. That's correct. That will lower cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Okay, well, we want to get that stuff out of our system. So yes, what should we, we be eating? Well, um, in my book, Cholesterol Down, I have 10 steps, and uh, Chef John here has prepared a phenomenal and delicious uh, heart-healthy salad that he's going to be preparing right now, and that includes three of the cholesterol-lowering foods that I point out in my book. The first being garlic, which is absolutely a, a wonderful heart-healthy food that's good for your um, arteries as well as your heart. Now, can, can you eat the garlic whole like that? Is that okay to do? Oh, sure. It's delicious. I do, but yeah. I'm a garlic fanatic. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely delicious like that. And he uh, cooked it up in some olive oil, which is also another uh, heart-healthy type of fat that you should be cooking with in your kitchen. And very easy to do, obviously. You just yeah. roasted those, right, Chef John? Yeah, we just roasted them right in there. And it's nice and sweeten it up yeah, Super bit. takes all the yeah. all the bite out of it, spread it on your bread like butter. And so. what's nice is too is you can flavor your food with garlic instead of um, salt and butter, which are two uh, foods that actually um, are not too heart healthy. Yeah, so they're, it's, they're uh, not. So basically, what you're saying is by the foods we eat, we can lower the cholesterol. Though, so that's eat correct. the proper foods. Then. And each one has a different mechanism for lowering the cholesterol. So the idea is to combine them, which is what I go through in my book. Okay. Um, another one of the ingredients is beans, and uh, beans are a, a phenomenal um, heart healthy food. I just started learning how to cook with beans because I always liked beans, but I eat them not raw, but you know, just soaked because I didn't know what to do with that. So yeah. there's lots of menus out there. Plenty. And, you know, people don't realize, like, at a salad bar, chickpeas are a legume, and that counts. I mean, beans are such a beautiful food because they work like a sponge in your intestine, and they soak up the cholesterol so that you excrete it. So Lots of protein also in beans. Protein, but, you know, the thing about beans is it's very, very low fat, so and it's cholesterol-free. So you're getting all that uh, wonderful uh, vegetable protein, but without the, um, the baggage that comes along, the uh, cholesterol-raising, uh, artery-clogging baggage that comes along with animals. Protein. Now let's move over. He just seared some tuna. This was tuna and it looked like the most beautiful piece of fish that I have seen in quite a while. And, and just tell us what you did to the tuna because you put something on it. Well, we put a little bit of gremolata. We're trying to go with a little bit of a Mediterranean uh, theme on, on this. You always see a lot of tuna with the sesame and the Asian and that. Sure. So with this one, we did a little gremolata, which is some parsley, some lemon zest. We did some roasted garlic in that. We just did a crust on it. So you're going to have that citrusy flavor to it. And how long do you uh, uh, cook just, it to crust it? Uh, just, you know, 30 seconds on each side, depending on temperature. I mean, you know, Rare, you want to eat it rare because if not, it just gets you turn into tuna fish. Gotcha. And Open Dr. Janet, now fish is obviously very good oh, for your heart. What does it do for your cholesterol? Good. Well, um, tuna is uh, very high in that healthy fat that I think people have been hearing a lot about lately, yeah. the oh, omega-3 yeah. fat. Oh, yes, I'm all about the omega-3. Yes. And the, it's, uh, tuna is chock full of omega-3, and omega-3 is really an anti-inflammatory type of food, which is a good thing because um, heart disease is actually now, we know it's an inflammatory disorder, so you want to eat foods that have that anti-inflammatory quality. Agent. absolutely. Exactly. Now, right here, he just put together, obviously, he used some of the beans. Mm -hmm. and he put together a salad. Tell me about some of the ingredients in the salad. Well, he had the, the garlic and the cannelloni beans, and then I think you're, he puts, are you putting some edamame, uh, edamame, edamame. which is soybeans, gotcha. which is another uh, step in my book. So you've got it all in there, and then this is the dessert. What is the dessert? The dessert, we're going to have the beautiful almond pound cake. It's wow. made with uh, egg beaters, some butter. And uh, that it's not can butter. Be I'm sorry. Too. Not butter. Not butter. Please. Promise. 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 promise, promise well, please. Wait, sorry. Wait, wait. I'm gonna taste sorry. this, you guys. I gotta taste this. <laughs> that margarine is, is special though, because it contains plant sterols, oh, which sure. is another step that lowers cholesterol. Well, that's good to know. Hey, Dr. Janet, thank you guys so much. Thank we'll be you. Right back. This was beautiful.